Tim, thank you for joining us so much. Congratulations. We're really excited to uh, award you a pop-up grant thanks to Whelan Engineering. How are you this morning? I'm great, and thank you. Wonderful. Well, Robin Deming nominated the Deep River Fire Department, and we were very thrilled that you were drawn from the pop-up grant bucket at Whelan Engineering. And so it's a great opportunity to find out a little bit more about Deep River Fire Department and what you do in your community. Great, thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, we do a lot. We do a lot within the community outside of, um, you know, when the tones drop for fire calls and things like that, there's a lot more that goes along, goes along with everything. Um, things such as mandatory training that each and every member has to do annually, um, all of that type of stuff. And, and a lot of our fundraisers, the biggest thing that we're trying to promote right now is the difference between the fire department members when we're fighting fires and doing training, things like that as town employees, and then the fire department incorporated, which is the private side. And the fire department incorporated side is the side that has given back to the community immensely um, through many years, decades of, of fundraisers, annual fundraisers, all of that fundraising over many years in proper planning in financial planning has allowed us to give back to the community. Some examples of that are uh, trucks like fire rescue trucks that have been purchased over many years, utility pickup trucks that we've bought, the fire rescue boat that we're currently running right now that the fire department bought and gave back to the townspeople, um, the addition onto our station out in Winthrop where our brush truck sits. So on the, if you're standing in Route 80 looking at that, uh, the fire department paid for all that and a lot of the members did most of the work there. The property next to our downtown firehouse, uh, the White House at 51 Union Street, the fire department purchased when it became available, knowing that that property is needed for the firehouse expansion downtown, which has been talked about for many, many years. We're we're um, in the process of having a third party consultant do a needs assessment right now, which is exciting. So the town will get a report from an outside vendor that will be a public report and a public meeting uh, that, will, that will outline all of the needs of the fire service in Deep River. Um, so we're, we're excited about that. I've been in the department since I was 14. So it's been, it's been a long time. Wow. So I, joined, I joined when I was 14. They changed the, um, the bylaws. So myself and another uh, young man who is now a career fire chief in a city. Um, so both of us could join earlier. And um, they started that. And, and it's, that is actually on the state level. That's where we can, we can bring young folks into our junior division. We have an incredible junior division right now of about 10 to 12 juniors. Um, and we're going to lose a few of them this year that are going to be joining the senior membership that are graduating high school. You'll see their names. We have um, banners made up for each and every graduate every year. We put them up on the side of the firehouse, graduating, uh, you know, congratulating them on their graduation. So those will be going up. So we have, you know, there's a lot going on. The juniors are getting ready um, to start with the Thomas the Tank Engine. Uh, down there where they go down every day while Thomas is going on right. with one of our older fire trucks to show young kids the trucks and take pictures and all that stuff. So they spend uh, two weekends. I think it's four solid days. It might be five days down there. Oh Robin. my gosh. Yeah. I, I, we're, we're sitting here going, wow, how do you do all <laughs> yeah. of that? It's, it's amazing. And I think um, we, as residents of this wonderful county that we live in just don't realize the depth and breadth of all of the things that you do. And of course, Wheeland Engineering does because they are such great supporters of fire departments and the equipment and everything. And we were participants in the Ukrainian firefighters um, equipment drive and the firefighters that came from across the state just blew our minds about how generous and not only their free time, but all the great things they're doing to help the folks in Ukraine too. So thank you for all you do. That's, that's what the fire service does. The yeah. fire service is a brotherhood and sisterhood. It has been for a long time. Um, and it's when people are in need, even our own people, 
and the smaller um, caliber within our department. You have we have had members that have become sick and you know can't do their fall cleanup of their leaves. And the members will get together, they go up there with their own time, their own gasoline, and their own tools, and we help one of our members clean their yard. Or it might be a larger scale, like you're explaining now, where departments pull together, you know, older obsolete equipment that can be used in, you know, serious situations such as Ukraine. A local department in uh, actually between Essex Fire Department and Colchester Fire Department probably seven, eight, ten years ago did a campaign to get uh, used and older equipment uh, to ship up north to some of the smaller towns in Vermont right. and areas like that. And they went as far as actually getting a fire truck donated by a local town here in the state that was getting ready to retire one. And they, they lettered it for that little town and they, they actually hit it and um, did a, you know, they had to hold the department come down from Vermont and they were showing them all this equipment and then they drove the fire truck out. Oh, oh how nice. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Yay. That's like, that's oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah, with, with the name of their department on it and everything. And they were so excited because they're, they're struggling to get stuff, you know. Yeah. So fire, the fire service, EMS service, that's what we do. We all do. It's like, it's in your blood. That's what you do. You help anybody you can. How many members are at the, in the Deep River Fire Department, Chief? We're hovering around 50, high 40s to right around 50. Um, we lost some members recently that have moved out of town. That, you know, you get people that have career changes and things like that or, or get married and move to different towns. So you lose people that way. But we just gained two more um, in the last month. So we just put two people on probation in the last month or two. So one has already has already started as firefighter one training there. He's almost done with it, which is intense. It's but it's several months of right. training, a right. couple nights a week and weekends. They they go right through the weekends. It's it's a lot of hours. It's a it's hard training, but uh, we've got other members that are just wrapping up an EMT class that Deep River Ambulance sponsored and a dozen or so junior members also. So if someone is interested in learning more, maybe joining, how do they do that? Um, they can go on our website, but the best thing really to do, and these last two gentlemen did that, is just come down and see us on a Wednesday night. We're there every single Wednesday night. Come down and see us. We're happy to show you around, give people an application. Um, we have some people that, that know that they want to be a fire firefighter. They know they want to do the training. They know they want to go into buildings. They know they want to put their, their lives on the line. And we have others that, that know their limitations, but they want to help out in other ways. They, they know that they can help with, maybe it might be clerical stuff. Um, it may be grant writing, stuff like that. If people have things like that that they can help us with, just come down and see us. We'll, we're willing to talk to anyone. So, and, that, and that's not just Deep River, it's every town. Every town needs volunteers, you can't have too many. So if it's, someone's listening to this and they're not a, 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 a you know, part of Deep River or they're in Essex, Chester, whatever it might be, go down and see your local fire department. They're always gonna have an open door for anyone. I, I couldn't agree more with that last statement. So please, if, if you have any inkling, please walk, walk into your local fire department and see what you can do to help. So we have to thank you for and, and your team, Chief, for the, your dedication to Deep River. And, and I know you partner with the other fire departments and for all you do to keep us safe and all the things you do in the community. And a shout out to Wheelan Engineering and thank them for that. But how about a message for Robin and for Wheelan Engineering? Because this will be, as they said, the video will be sent to Wheelan Engineering for everybody to enjoy. Yeah, I have a, one more thing before we do that, just um, just so the people that are going to be watching this, they're in Deep River. The Deep River Ambulance is a separate organization from Deep River Fire Department. They're not one in, like it is in some towns. So, you know, if people have um, the, the, the want to get into the medical field, um, certainly get a hold of Deep River Ambulance, get a hold of Jen Comer, who's the chief of service there. She has been for a while. They're always looking for volunteers too. We work with them uh, day in and day out, but they are a completely separate organization from the fire department on their own funding and everything else. So please get down and see them. If, 
if anyone has an interest in the medical field, go see go see the folks at the ambulance barn. Um, they're happy to take on members as well. So thanks for that shout out. Yeah. Thank you. So, but yeah, special thanks to Robin. I mean, I've known Robin for a long, long time. She's um, the wife of one of our past chiefs um, and Robin's a great person. So thank you very much to Robin and also Whelan. Whelan, is, Whelan does so much for a Deep River Fire Department and a lot of, Whelan does so much for so many people that right. people have no clue. So this is great. Um, you know, thank you to Whelan Engineering, to Robin Deming and all of you. Well, we love the pop-up grants and we, we love what, um, and cannot thank you, Wheelan, you and your department and Wheeland Engineering for all the fabulous things you do. We so appreciate it. We do. Yes, thank you very much. Right. Thank you. And a round of and applause for you. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.